All righty, let's check this out. It initially said that the connection's not good to go live, but we'll try it anyway. All right, so this is our first little live video. Ooh, you're excited. You see yourself. So even if nobody watches, we're going to have fun talking to ourselves. Yeah, at least I got one person here with me. That's kind of why I have the baby. All right. So last week I went to, hi Monica, hi. To, <laughs> to type a conference in Disney and it was really fun. And I met Monica hi. there in person. So she's right there. So it was really great seeing such a diverse group of bloggers and 97% were, were women. Hi. <laughs> um, so it was my first conference. I didn't really know what to expect. I was expecting everybody to be like in these dark rim, black blogging glasses, um, but they weren't. They were normal, awesome people, um, very involved mothers with their kids. They loved like what they're doing. They want to share their knowledge with other people. So the like the age ranges were young mommies like me. Then you had a, a lot of like older mothers that had like teenage kids. And then you had a whole like big table, almost like 10 or 20 more mature moms that had grandkids and they were blogging. And that was awesome to see. Like people my my grandma's age was sitting there with her iPad and checking in on emails and like doing her blogging thing. So that was pretty awesome. It's very encouraging to see such a wide variety of women doing this. So, <laughs> um, funny thing that happened at the conference, like it was my first time being away from the girls for almost eight hours. So I had a pump. So I had to, I didn't want to take my electronic electric pumper because I didn't know where I would hook it in. So I took a little hand pump and I needed to go find, I needed to go find a quiet spot somewhere at the hotel. So I sat outside. <laughs> I sat outside with like covering myself with this little hand pump. And then that was kind of awkward. So for any working moms that are breastfeeding and pumping at work, that's hard work. That's that's a lot of hard work. So kudos to you. That's that's awesome. Um so tips. Tips from the blogging conference. All right. Let's see what's the the big ones. Um I'm going to test it on this video, but what they say is videos with captions at the bottom share better on Facebook. Obviously, because a lot of times these videos are watched silently. Um, you can't watch me right now, so maybe you'll watch this later. But a lot of mommies and people on Facebook just read. So I'm going to try to put in the captions on this one. And there's a little way that you can do it for free. So if it works, I'll teach you how to do it. Um, another thing is, um, like, try to have, when you're creating pinnable images, have your reader connect to that image. Like try to have them project themselves. Let's put you down on the image. So one thing that Becky does from yourmodernfamily.com, she takes stock images, but then she like cuts off the head so that the reader can kind of like see themselves. Oh boy, on it. Hang on, she's gonna pull the light. Okay. So like creating like that emotional connection with your reader because you want to be a friend online. We're not just avatars or bots. We're actual real people blogging and trying to make relationships and, and build fans and friends. Um, what's another one? I made notes here. Okay. And then one thing that Darren Rose, hopefully I said that right, said in his um, last speech was your entire blog purpose should be getting your reader from point A to point B. So what kind of transformation do you want in your reader? Do you want to teach them how to be a better parent? Do you want to teach them how to live more naturally, um, to live healthier? Do you want to teach them how to create an online business? So what do you see? Where do you see your beginning avatar of your reader? And then where do you want them to go? So your blog has to have a purpose. 
and then it'll be super successful. So I think that's gonna be our live. Was there anything else I wanted to add? Was there anything else, Heidi? No? Okay, that's us testing out Facebook Live for the first time. Yes, and I'm thinking that I might move my, my, my scheduled Facebook Live times to like a Tuesday during nap time, not Monday in the morning. That's a little hectic. So we might move this to Tuesday around two. <laughs> All right, so thank you everybody for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and we're gonna sign up. Bye. We're good to go now. We did it. Okay, bye. Bye bye. How do you stop this? Hang on. I gotta figure out. Oh, there's a finish button.